Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce greedy algorithms, how they work on a high level, give some examples on how they work, but, and then also some scenarios to show you when a greedy algorithm is not a good idea. And so essentially how a greedy algorithm works is it takes the highest value first. And so here on the left hand side I have some American currency in coin value, so I have 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, and a penny. Uh, if you're watching from the US, you'd know that's a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and uh, a penny, one, which equals 1 cent. Uh, on the right hand side, I have a made up currency that has values of 1, 3, and 4. And I'm going to show you how a greedy algorithm can be a great thing to implement in order to figure out a problem efficiently, and then also uh, give a situation where it wouldn't be a good idea. And so in the first scenario, I'm going to have a goal of getting 31 cents, and I want to use the fewest number of coins possible. And in order to do that, uh, on the left-hand side here, I can take a quarter plus a nickel plus a penny, and that's going to give me 31 cents. And in this case, by going to the highest value first, which is what a greedy, greedy algorithm is always going to do, so I went to the quarter first, and that was the best way of doing it, because this only took three coins. Uh, some other ways of doing it would have been uh, to use three dimes and one penny, which would have given us still 31 cents, but it would have required four coins. And so that would not have been the optimal solution. Now, there are times, even in this scenario, where this would not be the best way of going about it. And uh, the way to do that would be to say that we're not allowed to use nickels. In the case where we're not allowed to use nickels, we'd have to use a quarter. And then we'd have to use six pennies in order to get our goal of 31. And this would equal seven coins and you can see with the example above we were able to get to 31 cents using only four coins and no nickel. So a very important thing in understanding greedy algorithms or making one work is that you know the uh, the data that you're using uh, because it will not work in a lot of different cases. Uh, I'm gonna go on the right hand side and show you another case where this would not work and where this case would not work is where we're trying to get to the value 6 and so this is a made-up currency so we don't have any threes or fours however I wanted to give another example on when a greedy algorithm or you know taking the largest value would not be a good idea uh, if we want to use the smallest number of coins and we took a greedy algorithm to get to the value of six we would take one four and then we would have to take two ones in order to get to six now this takes three coins However, the better choice would have been to just take two of this coin of three value, which would equal six, and in this case, we would only use two coins, and this would have been the optimal solution. So uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea on how greedy algorithms work, at least on a very high level. Um, we'll, we'll work on actually implementing some of these and seeing some real world examples on how these could work. But the uh, main principles that you want to understand is a greedy algorithm always takes the highest value and then it essentially selects uh, other items that are secondary in value until it reaches uh, its goal and it will work in some cases however you do have to know your data you need to know your values to ensure that it actually is the optimal solution so as always please let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video